On last week's episode, we went and caught up with an old friend, Young Nipsey. Then I did some adjustments like I do every week. So I definitely had to go see my chiropractor. And then after that, I went to the gym because we back in the gym to get this body right and toned. And we also met a new PayPal. So let's jump into this new vlog and I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, we're back with another video. So I want to tell you guys about the watch that I'm going to be wearing a lot in today's video. It's going to be the Crystal 39 watch. This watch comes with 12 genuine diamonds marking the hours, complemented by 679 Swarovski crystals adorning the dial bezel. It's crafted in 18 karat gold plated stainless steel with a Swiss time piece movement. And it sparkles seamlessly and levels up any look. You're going to get a bunch of compliments when you wear this watch because it is very high quality luxury and it looks expensive. Right now they are holding a flash sale. This watch is retailing for $295. Regular price is $345. If you use my code PeytonJPW, you can get an additional discount off your watch. And all you have to do is click the link below. So let's sparkle. Feels so beautiful outside today, honey. It feels good outside. Try what else? I just need to be happy with my look here, brush all ass shape. My look here, brush all ass legs. I just need to be happy with it, honey. Do you wanna see? Do you wanna see? Do you wanna see? Do you wanna see? How I'm gonna do your body right? Girl, you need a real man to change, change your frown. Good morning, beautiful PayPal's. Welcome back to another vlog, honey. So we are getting ready to go get a body maintenance treatment, girl. Let me tell you something. So I've been working out every day, every day since what's today? Wednesday. I've been working out every day since Sunday. And I could have sworn yesterday I was 141. This morning I got on the skin, I was 136. I got a problem with it. Like, how the fuck did I lose four pounds in my sleep? Like, I was excited because you know what I'm saying? I've been drinking water. I've been like eating healthy and stuff like that. At this point, I'm just gonna go get my thyroid checked because this is weird. This is this is it's giving weird now. Like I, I ain't supposed to be losing weight like this. You know what I'm saying? Like in my sleep, it's giving weird. Like, okay, bitch, go get your th thyroid checked at this point because we we doing everything right. I feel like I'm doing everything right, so I don't know. I I, I don't know what's going on, but four plant four pounds in my sleep don't sit well with my spirit. It, that just don't sit well with my spirit. Like, I'm not supposed to be losing weight like this. So, it gotta be something with my thyroid. My chiropractor even said something about it. So, at this point, like, I really need to go get a check. But, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that at the VA. Because, the VA is turning away veterans that aren't vaccinated. So, they're prioritizing medical care. Um for vaccinated veterans and if you're not vaccinated then you go to like the bottom of the list or whatever so this this is what my chiropractor said she was like but if you know they do that to you let me know um so i can assist you with this she is so like involved i love my chiropractor i'm going to see her today too for an adjustment and another massage because i am really really sore y'all i have been getting it in in the gym and i look good don't get me wrong like i look good i just feel like i want or wait on but honestly like when I check as far as like my BMI 145 is for me and my height 145 is um like I'm I'm 
I'm um, straddling the obese line as far as like my BMI and my height. That's what I'm told. Like I'm like straddling the obese line, so I'm supposed to be under, I think, 140. 145 is, is too much but I like that weight on me so I don't know I don't know I feel good though I ain't gonna lie I do feel good when I was like 146 I was sick like I felt it all in my blood pressure and I ain't been having no kind of appetite it's all good. That should have come back. It is what it is. Shit, I'm 38. I ought to be. I, I ought to be thankful that I can go to sleep and eat what I want and go to sleep and wake up skinnier. Cause everybody ain't able. So I really do need to stop complaining. Do you wanna be? Do you wanna be? Do you wanna be? Do you wanna be? Wanna be with me tonight? Do you wanna see, do you wanna see, do you wanna see, do you wanna see How I'm gonna do your body right You better let me in This is a merge line, you shouldn't even be driving in the merge line Like people just don't know how to drive People just got their license baby, they ain't read the book I see she came with her, came with her. But she gon' slide right to my side, I know She pulled up with her friends and we start off in the band, uh, took her back to my crib, and I regret it. She trying to take that gun, go left and right, move your body up she and down. Tryna. Take that gun, go left and right, move your body up and down. Left and right, go 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 left Seat hot. Shit, seat hot as fuck. So they got new machines um, to do their suctions on the booty, and them motherfuckers be sucking the shit out of you. That motherfucker's some damn vampires, man. That shit be hurting. I fell asleep this time. Cause I was like, okay, we just gonna have to figure out how to how to deal with this pain. So I just went to sleep. But um man, this shit hurts so bad. Ooh. Ooh. I, I thought I thought these seats had cooling. I could have sworn I got a car that had cooling seats. I don't know how to work it yet. I'm gonna have to look I'm gonna have to look at the manual. But I could have sworn I got a car with cooling seats. Need to give me something to eat. We're gonna have to get something fatty. So uh let's say Burger King or or big or a Big Mac or something. Might not had a Big Mac in so long, I ought to be ashamed of myself that just came out of my mouth. Big Macs are nasty as hell. I can't believe I just uttered those words. Whew. Who is this person? Cause I don't know this woman. I believe I just said a Big Mac lower help with Jesus. Um, but yeah, them suctions, them suction cups, that new machine they got, it hurts. It hurts. The ones that they had previous, I was able to maintain, but I literally have her put it on the lowest setting, and the lowest setting hurts so bad. There's a McDonald's right there, so let's get a little let's let's get us a fillet of fish. How about that? Woo I ain't had a fish fillet in so long. A fish fillet. A fish fillet. Fillet McDonald. Oh my god. 
I ain't had a Coke in so long, try. I ain't had a Coca-Cola in so long. After I devour with this, then I'm gonna go give me a massage. And an adjustment. Get my booty filter on. What remix is this feeling on your booty? What remix is this? Oh, I. Hey there. How she doing? How's your mama doing? How's your daddy doing? Is your daddy still with your mama? Cause um, you know, I ain't gonna say I'm single, but I definitely ain't in no relationship. So I put on the Winky Lux. This is like. For me, it's a mood chapstick because it changed the color of your lips to pink. And then I put some gloss over it because it's not very moisturizing. My, my lips still get dry. They be pink, but they, they dry. They get dry. So this gives me a nice little flush to my lips. My phone always did by the time I get in the car. I am so terrible about charging my freaking phone. See, I, I think I woke up at like 8 something. What they doing in here? Alright, sister girls and sister guys. Oh, chat, it didn't sound right. <laughs> Alright, sister girls and brother boys. Brother boys, I like how they say. Okay, we about to go get us something to eat. We need to go grocery shopping. We meeting another PayPal tonight. We're gonna go to Waterproof at the top of the Statler. And I really hope, cause I'm going to the gym today. Um, later on. I really hope that I be in the mood to go out because 7.30 is so early. What? I got my seatbelt on. What are you talking about? What is wrong with this car? is not that damn heavy. You a lie. Okay, so on the agenda today, we are getting ready to head to get us some breakfast. It's snooze. I need to fill up. I need some gas. I need to wash my car. Gotta go to the gym. Need to go to the grocery store. And we're going out tonight for drinks. We're meeting another PayPal for drinks and um, two actually. Um, and I really hope that I have the energy to do all of this stuff that I need to do today because we're supposed to be going for drinks at 7.30. That's early for me. Like I usually pick like 9, 9.30, 7.30. It's so doggone early. I hope I don't cancel on because child, I am not good for 7.30. And today's fragrance, today's scent of the day is Cartier Le Panther. I only sprayed it on my wrist. And I even did it like that because it's so doggone loud and it project, projects so much. You do not have to overspray it. You don't even have to spray it but one time. Like I literally just sprayed it one time on this wrist and did like this. And you know you're not supposed to do that because it like messes up the like DNA of the fragrance or whatever. But it's so loud and it projects to the point where it'll make me have a headache and a get nauseous if I overspray it. So that's why I did like this to calm it down. And child, I'll tell you, you can smell it all in this car just from one spray on your hand. It's, it's crazy how, how intense it is.
Cartier really did something when they made this one. So I'm about to go get me some breakfast. And I need to go buy um, Bottega and see if they got those wire sandals yet because when I called last week they said that they hadn't got them yet they said that they were sitting in the warehouse and they haven't been shipped out to stores but I've been seeing people with them so it's like I know Isha Tara who I follow on Instagram she probably got hers when she was in Paris because they already released in lunch the blue turquoise one so and she was in Paris so she probably got hers while she was in Paris but as far as anybody in the U.S., who have I seen them with? Oh, I seen um, Joy Chavez, Future Baby Mama, and Bad Wild Baby, Baby Mama. She had them. And I'm like, ma'am, how did you get these shoes? Like, So, I'm going to go up to the North Park Mall and go up to Bottega and see what's the hold up, what's the tea. I really want the green ones. I really don't want the turquoise ones. But... I don't want to wait till the green ones lunch. The, the green ones aren't lunching until like next month, I think. What they see. The guy told me, I think he said later this month, but I'm thinking how they how they how long it's taking the stores to get the turquoise and the turquoise have already lunched. I'm thinking it's gonna take them forever to get the green ones, and by the time the green ones come out, it's gonna be too cold to wear sandals. Like right now, even though it's October, it's still very much summertime in Texas because like the other day it was in the 90s. Right now it's 86, it feels amazing outside. So it's perfect weather for sandals. So we are gonna go by the mile and see, do they got these shoes? Cause I want them so bad. And I already know that because of the design that they are going to be victims of fast fashion like I can see a lot of um, shoe companies like Fashion Nova and you know all of the um, the affordable shoe companies I feel like they gonna they gonna replicate this shoe but I don't think it's gonna be the same quality and I just want the I just want the Bottega ones I feel like the Bottega ones gonna be better quality I got a lot of shoes that are um, designer dupes and the quality is not there. I'm going to tell you who got some good designer dupes though. Steve Madden. Steve Madden. He got such good designer dupes. He stay getting sued by the designer so you know his dupes good. Because uh, those China um, shoe companies they ain't getting sued. You can literally tell the difference in the quality. But Steve Madden, baby, he be coming out with that heat. That's why I be getting a lot of Steve Madden shoes because it's like, okay, sometimes I'll spend the money on the designer. But a lot of times, I want to save money. Okay, you guys, so we are headed to the house. We um getting ready to go and get drinks with a subscriber I don't know if she's a PayPal a lot of a, okay this is weird but I have met people that don't consider themselves PayPal's but they'll be like I'm subscribed to your channel like it's a girl that has literally said that I was like are you a PayPal she was like I'm a subscriber it's the same thing sis but okay but yeah we did a little shopping at Zara I went in Zara to get what I wanted <clears throat> And I, it was a leather collar shirt. We're trying to get into the fall, you know what I'm saying? Get into the fall or whatever. And they had a leather collar shirt that I wanted, but like when I first saw it, I I had to think about it. You know, some some stuff in Zara you have to think about. I had to go home, get inspired, realize, okay, you got something to go with it. Go back and get it before it's gone. And what I love about Zara is they gonna keep some shit in stock. So you have time to think about it. Like even though it's very boutique-ish, they gonna keep some shit in stock for a little while while it's in season. So you can go back and get it. So I was able to get that. And then I also got these shoes. 
and they were $59. So uh, these are another thing, uh, another item that I kept looking at every time I went to Zara, but it was just something about it that wasn't like pushing me to buy it. So today I went in and I actually tried them on and I looked at them in the mirror and every time somebody walked past and saw them on my feet, they was like, those are nice, you should get those. So it made me want them because I don't have any mules like that in my shoe collection. And then I also picked up a new scent and a new candle. So I went in Diptyque. This is my first time going in Diptyque. Um, it's a perfumer that's from Paris. And so I walked in and they have like the notes as the name of the candles. So immediately when I walked in, and I wish I had took my camera to film it so you guys can see, but I walked in and I immediately grabbed patchouli because I have a lot of scents with patchouli in it that I like it. I need to put my phone down because progressive is watching y'all I just met this dude in the mall he was cute he was real cute you know it was one of them situations where you walking past and they like how you doing and you say how you doing big and I kind of I kind of felt he had a mask on and I kind of felt he was cute up under the mask so I looked back just to get like a little double take to see if he was looking too and he turned around he did an about face real quick I'm like okay major pain so um, yeah we talking and he's like he was like so you gonna call me put my number in your phone and I'm like I don't take numbers I don't know I don't call people people call me he was like, see, that's, that's, that's going to be an issue because I don't take numbers either. I was like, see, you, you acting real light-skinned right now, sir. You acting really light-skinned. So how, so how are we going to communicate if you don't call me? Make it make sense. So <clears throat> he was like, if you take my number, I know, um, I know you like me because you hit me up. He was like, I don't really want to be bothering you and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, Lord, this nigga sound like me. He sound like me. You can't pimp. You can't spend no motherfucking pimping on me, sir. What the fuck are you doing? You better put my number in your phone and hush it. So, I took his number or whatever because he was acting very much like a Scorpio. I'm like, I'm so, so you're giving me Aquarius energy right now. What are you, an Aquarius? He was like, nope, you're not going to guess it. I was like, a Scorpio? He was like, nope, Capricorn. He's like, nope, you're not gonna guess. And I'm like, all right, go on, tell me what you hear, cause I was hoping he didn't say what 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 he didn't say. He said Gemini Capri He said Gemini Cancer. That's new. So the PayPal Courtney, y'all done met her. She a Gemini Cancer, and she cool. She cool as fuck. Like we getting along real well. I tell her she a Cancer. She's a Cancer for me, but. I don't get the Gemini from her. Um, so to me, she a cancer. So as we sitting there talking, I was like, so you a cancer right now, huh? And he was like, yeah, I guess so. I was like, yeah, you a cancer today. Because if you was a Gemini, <laughs> friend zone. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I, got, I got space for two Geminis in my life. That's Karen and Brian. That's he. That's he. That's all. I ain't got space for no more. So, you know, he making me smile or whatever, you know what I'm saying, calling me pretty and stuff, you know what I'm saying, even though I'm looking real regular. Um, I'm like, take your head out, let me see your hairline. He was like, I can't because I got tattoos all over my head. I'm like, oh my God, were you in jail or something? <laughs> Why the fuck did I say that? Bitch, like, I wish y'all, like, I, I, 
that's why I be having my camera with me all the time so I can film stuff. But situations like that, I wouldn't normally film anyway. But I wish I had like a camera in my eye so y'all can really see the stuff that I deal with and the things that come out of my mouth when I'm talking to men. And they still like me. I be like, sir, you something else with yourself. You Do you not know I'm a force to be reckoned with? So, yeah. I might end up linking up with him tonight because he was real cute and I'm about to get jazzy and cute and you know how when you get real cute you be wanting more people to see you you know what I'm saying even though you going to like an event or like a little situation where I'm just going for drinks with a subscriber but after that I'm still gonna be cute so I ain't gonna want to come straight home take it off you know what I'm saying and that's that i'm i want more people to see me especially him since he's seen me looking like this you you ought to see me when i like put that pressure on you know what i'm saying put that shit on so i want him to see me so i might link with him or whatever because he's not from here he from houston so if i don't see him no more this weekend then it's gonna be like a pen pal situation and i don't like this shit I really want to talk to a dude that don't live in the same city as me like I just I ain't got time for it I, I don't have time for it we gonna see how this perfume wears tonight though we're going to see I know when I was in Zara I kept getting a whiff of it on my arm right here and I loved it but as it dries down, it smells so much like a bath-like skin scent. Very, mm -hmm. we'll see. And I think I'm gonna just wear my hair straight like this cause Sunday, I think I'm gonna do a different hairstyle. I really wanna wear a ponytail. And I have not done a ponytail on my own hair ever. So we gonna try it out. I'ma always take the money over sex. That's why they need me out the way what you expect. Jump in my jeans, jump in the bed, pull it by the B-Man, going outside. Do it like it's my B-Day. Do it like it's my B-Day. No, I ain't doing it right. Do it like it's my B-Day. Do it like it's my B-Day. Oh, I'm sore. Okay. Oh, I got something that's all our bags. Okay. What we want to get tonight? What we want to get tonight? What do we want to get? What is this? To go. Oh, I forgot I had got me a dog on Zara candle. I forgot about that. What do we want to give tonight, sis? Cause we got some cute stuff. I'm thinking we. I want to do this blue number. This blue turtleneck number. I got this dress in an extra small. I'm thinking about this. Cause I'm feeling. Feeling, I ain't feeling blue, so we're not gonna say I'm feeling blue. But feeling like that with my that blue dress with these Steve Man shoes. Cause I love these and they're comfortable. Cause you know what? That'll be perfect because I'm still trying to cover up my Twilight bites. <laughs> cause <laughs> Edwin bit me. Y'all see how <laughs> I'm already turning because my skin was like glistening in the sun or whatever. Like I saw like little diamonds coming up out my skin or whatever. Or maybe that's eczema. But that's given. Yeah. And we're going to put on our white gold jewelry, you know, you know, you know.
Alright guys, this is the look for tonight. We are going to wear this turquoise blue number. And um, the face we're giving, we give it a natural beat. So I just put my Winky Lux um, lipstick on and it makes your lips like pinker. And then I wiped it all off and exfoliated and then I put a gloss over it. So um, it's making my lips look pinker than what they naturally are. But that's the vibe, that's the look. That's what we're going for. Highlight popping, contour. This dress could be a little more snatched. Maybe I should put some underwear on. Because like this dress isn't as fitted as I thought. And I got it in an extra small, but it's just not snatching me like I thought it would. So I just put on some bikini briefs. And then I have on these Steve Men shoes, which I absolutely love. Like they go with the dress so well. Yes. And then for accessories, we just have on our gold press um accessories and toes are white okay and for perfume i put on my new diptyque perfume and this is in patchouli well it's called tempo it's called tempo but it's basically it has patchouli in it sage and i think i forgot the other one that he says but like this smells so good and fresh the patchouli isn't like super heavy but i like that it has sage in it too like it smells really really good y'all i gotta make a quick stop at the gas station child i am on e and ain't nothing more embarrassing than balleting your car on e like don't do that go get some gas just be late child you gonna make an entrance any damn way just be late don't don't valet your car on e never do that embarrassing for real don't do it i've been riding around all day and i just ain't felt like stopping to get gas and i like to get my gas at quick trip and i ain't been going past no damn quick trips so i'm gonna have to go to this x sign right here and it always be like bombs asking for money at this x sign like please don't bother me please don't nobody bother me looks so pretty right here on this picture she be dressing her ass off yeah i see that baby be dressing her motherfucking ass off i just love her she's so new york that's the one thing about new york bitches baby they be dressing you can't live in New York and not know how to dress. They be dressing, baby. They be. Tch. It is taking forever for this car to fill up. I don't know. They don't really make the best moves sometimes. So I probably have voiced my opinion that they didn't like it. Today is Saturday, October 9th. We're still in Blocktober. I'm getting ready to head to um, DFW Airport to pick up Jessica so we can go have lunch or brunch. It's 1 o'clock. It's early, so brunch somewhere. Um, I kind of want to go to Ida Claire because I love their duck hash. And I need something fatty. Like, I need to, like, eat. I ain't really been having an appetite. I so need help, but we not gonna do that no more. We are done with that. We are done with that. We're not talking about it no more. We're not taking it no more. We just gonna, we just gonna try to maintain. 
without it. It's gonna be hard, but we're gonna do it. Anyway, yeah, Jessica, you guys have met Jessica before. That's one of the PayPal's um, that came to help me like put furniture together. She also has uh, YouTube. She's so sweet, and so um, you know, we just really been able to maintain a friendship and um, keep in touch and communicate. And she's she's just so sweet like she's really really genuine and like i literally and i she inspires me so much because she is a boss okay ma'am is a boss don't let youtube and um instagram fool you honey she is a boss outside of social media she inspires me so much and you need those type of friends around you those friends that are so positive and lift you up and not entertaining negativity and not gossiping and stuff like that them are the type of friends that you want to keep around and i just um text her the other day i was like you know i really thank you so much for coming into my life you inspire me so much and i really hope that we have a you know a long lasting friendship like me and quita because you know me and quita go back since both flats on the cadillac honey quita me and quita's growing old together at this point me and quita gonna have plots right next to each other it's gonna be hers and man we we're growing old together like that's like truly my best best friend in the entire world like my grandma has always loved her from the day she met her and you know your grandma my grandma didn't like a lot of my friends like she knew before I knew that some people just wasn't gonna make it but Quita Quita has always been there never talked behind my back I always had my back I could like Quita we Quita be in them comments Quita be Quita see y'all comments when y'all be messing with me and being negative me and stuff like that Quita be trying to come after y'all I be like Quita don't 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 even don't even worry about it like just don't even try to look up their IP addresses because it ain't even worth it. It ain't even worth it. We got too much to lose. Leave it, just leave it alone, honey. We just gonna block them and move on. But the queen of my shooter. Just little, let you, just let y'all know, queen of my shooter. Y'all probably don't see her a lot on the vlog, but just know she ain't going nowhere, and I ain't going nowhere. We going all together, period. And I like to, you know build long lasting friendships with people that I can grow old with because you know what I'm saying at the end of the day you know it's all about your golden girls it's all about the golden girls okay you I, I may very well have a man after like 55 something like that I may very well have a man one day but I'm, I'm going to need my friends you know what I'm saying that's what's gonna be so much so important like when i watched the golden girls even though y'all know how y'all know how golden girls started rose was actually not rose was it rose no wait is dorothy rose sophia and blanche okay so y'all know blanche was renting out rooms after her husband died she got lonely you know what i'm saying she wanted you know to you know be able to make more money and stuff like that and just have people in the house to talk to so she started renting out rooms and then rose rented a room because i think she um she was going through a divorce or something like that or her husband died too and then dorothy rented a room and then sophia ended up coming and stay because i don't forget a little bit but i used to like literally binge watch golden girls i might start back because i miss watching it but golden girls is basically like sex in the city for senior citizens, senior citizen sex in the city, and and that's what it's about. It's about finding friendships. I'm sorry, y'all. I end up breaking hard, and it's it's so crazy because now that I got this freaking app, I realize that I break hard a lot. So, she at the end of the month, baby, I might end up having a C minus. I need to cut this damn shit off and just turn my phone off when I'm driving for real because when I look on the app I be having like 16 events but what I was saying was I think that's what's most important is building long-lasting friendships with people that match your energy and are positive and that you can look up to but don't feel like you're in competition with them and they don't feel like you know they're in competition with you that's what it's about and that's what i love you know what i'm saying like i love i genuinely love all of my friends and i look up to all my friends you know and i hope that one day we all 
uh, toasting on the beach to being millionaires. You know what I'm saying? Because it's coming. It'd be nice to have them three M's toasting on the beach to being millionaires with good men and married. But, babies can't be damn choosers, child. So we're gonna leave all them, we're gonna leave them other two alone and just focus on the bag. I could have walked right out that door right there. What you doing, vlogging? Girl, I left my camera upstairs, so yeah. I'm not going back up to get it. I like your hair, it's pretty. Thank you, boo. Y'all say hey to Jessica. My vacation hair. Hey, y'all. Say hey, say hey, belated birthday to her, too, y'all, because <laughs> it was her birthday. Libra gang, Libra gang. Girl, yeah, my, I didn't even realize till I was like halfway out of my room and I was like, damn, I forgot my camera. I was like, what? You woman? smell good, what you got on? Vlogging from my phone. Um, Perry Ellis Sensual. Okay. Him. Yeah. I like your outfit. Thank you, girl. It was, you know, it was just uh, afterwards, said something to throw on. I don't know what a thousand times. Girl, same. When I was thinking, I was like, well, I got like my outfit and stuff for tonight, but I was like, let me just throw a casual outfit. I was like, because I know me and Peyton, but so we ain't finna like do nothing, do nothing during the day. Probably just go eat or something. So I was like, girl, this shirt and some jeans. What you in the mood to eat? Um, it's whatever. Okay. It's, it's whatever. You know I me, mean? you be you, you be knowing where all the hot spots here. You know, I don't, I don't really fool with Dallas like that. And I do. I'm a I'm a Houston I'm a Houston girl, you know what I'm saying? I don't really be fooling with Dallas like that. Um What was I about to say? Dang, I was about to say something. Oh, I've been I've been looking at skims, thinking about buying skims, but it's just so hot and she ain't failed me yet. You talking about the the shapewear? The you have the little active wear pieces? Oh, the active wear stuff. I didn't even know skims had active wear. I thought they just had well, the, the, the shapewear yeah, stuff. Yeah, the, the shapewear wear. lounge wear same thing pretty much. I've been thinking about buying some because you know I be wearing. This pretty much this my this be my little daily daily in the daytime wear. You know, I, I throw on me a little active wear piece. Girl, me too. See some tennis shoes if I if I feel like I might go to the gym. Yeah. And that's it instead of putting on gyms and trying to be all like cute and stuff. Yeah, that's me. Af athleisure. Mm-hmm. Athleisure all day. Try, especially like the little like the little two piece sets with the shorts with the top. In fact, I did a video like that on my channel about little two piece sets with just like the top and like a little short set. So I'm you just chilling around the house. And if it's cute enough, you can wear it out. But yeah, I'm not really one to wear shorts out like that. Not really outside of the house. Um, but yeah, what you been up to, friend? Girl, nothing. I, I kind of want to go to Claire again. I kind of want a red velvet uh, pancake and that duck hash. That place that we went to last time. Oh, but we the, went, when I when I first met you, yeah. Uh huh. But when we went, it was it was they didn't they weren't doing brunch no more. So I, I still want you to taste that brunch. It's, they got good brunch. Oh yeah, let's go. Uh, um, that that what I was just about to say. Like when I thought about like, cause I haven't seen you since. Came to Atlanta. That was mm -hmm. May. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Jessica, see you here. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Cause you know, <laughs> those trolls said I cannot keep friends. <laughs> yes, I can. And that and that person didn't know what they was talking about. They need, but like, indeed, at all. So. Did you want to go? Hold on, let me pull up this, pull up this seat thing. Let me see if maybe like some seats dropped or something. And if it's seats like around by mine. Who at the play of Um, it's, it's like a, a, black, a, black play? a black romance novel type play. Oh, you know, I, you know I, I like plays. So, um, me, me coming here to the playoffs, I was like, I'm off. You know what I'm saying? I still had all these days off because of my birthday. Are so you still meeting that feller? No. Really? What happened? I'm telling you. 
too. Oh, Lord. <laughs> not, not with them watching. <laughs> oh, I'll turn it off. Not with them watching. I'm dreaming. cute but you can't really see them because my hair kind of covering up but if i like do this number more like that i just feel like they look made me look so much older when i put it behind my ear but anyway yeah um jbw watch gold press necklace and then i'm wearing my dg sandals and perfume i'm wearing um house of sillage whisper of truth so let's go because jessica's on her way and i'm meeting her there so i smell so damn good okay wish me sent me a new bag so i'm going to pop this baby out and wear it since i am wearing all black and it's this dior saddle bag here Ain't that gorgeous? It is. It is. So I'm about to. About to unbox this real quick and put my stuff in it and go. Yeah, yeah, you know how it is. Um, 
Babe, hold, hold on one, one second. Hey, where you are you going? Talk to us right now. I can't talk to him. He's my husband. Now, why do you keep carrying that cornball sweater like this? He's my husband, my friends. Listen, all you had to do was just let the damn phone ring. <sighs> okay. Well, you ain't doing nothing but holding yourself up. All right, you know what? Hey, babe, I'm sorry. That was my boss. He is a very impatient guy. Yeah, he wants what he wants when he wants it. Well, on the bright side, today is the last day of training. Then you're coming home to a husband and Mrs. Wife's soul. <sighs> yeah, it's the last day. Yay. You sound exhausted, babe. Hey, why uh, don't you get some sleep before you go in? Well, I actually just got up. I had a very long night. Very exhausting. <laughs> well, I really missed you last night. somewhere to go into y'all but we just came from the play her secret and his lies or some shit like that that her, shit was her whack her lies her lies his secrets whack tacular i ain't never seen a play so terrible in my entire life what about the one i'm so dude, glad tyler Perry ain't here shit what about the one dude that when he walked out like in the middle and then he got to the back and lied and said he was like this is horrible <laughs> Uh, yeah, this dude, he walked right when he got like to the back, he was like, This is horrible and walked out. <laughs> it was. It was like that was the worst. That was thing. funny. And that, how much that, I spent on that? Eighty five dollars? Oh child wanna refund. Yeah. Yeah. Ticket and it's like and it's so funny because it's like you can see why the ticket prices are what they are because of all of like the stars that they have in there. But the main characters of the Mama play, D was, Mama, Mama D acted good. Right, she, so she, she did the, good. The, the main characters of the play actually weren't the stars though. The, all the stars had little parts. Sure. So it's like yeah nah, yeah nah. Hey y'all, what's up? So, um, it's five o'clock in the evening. <sighs> I'm getting ready to get ready to go to the Legends of the Streets concert. And, um, start getting ready for it. just cut this hair a little bit more because I wore it longer yesterday so I'm gonna cut it a little bit more Yesterday, it was annoying me so much. Okay, so I'm thinking about right here. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it real. Oh, it's something about you. I'm gonna break it down. They don't know your style I'm gonna keep it real How you make me feel Boy, you give me chills, baby I'm gonna break it down You just drive me wild Whenever you're around
I love it. So, I am a little perturbed because it's trying to get on my nerves when it does this. The outfit that I had planned on. So I am a little disturbed, you guys. The outfit that I had planned on wearing that I got from Zara, the pants don't fit. And I got them in a medium and they're too small. <laughs> what? It's like my hips are too big and it's like my, my ass because I'm like, so you know, after you get a BBL, your butt is like kind of hard. It's not like silicone hard, but it's kind of hard, right? So, um, once you, like, get past your year post-op, it gets really, really soft. Like, really, really soft. Like, bitch, I be really messed up all the time. I be able to be a real butt booty like, ooh. <laughs> I wish I had somebody, but, mm. It be soft, right? So, when it gets that soft, when you wear really, really tight pants, it kind of flattens your booty. So, when I put these pants on oh my god like it was giving very much box it was giving very much spongebob square pants <laughs> like and those are the cute navy blue velvet pants like i'm gonna have to go back and get them in a uh, large and i cannot believe it like i don't have no larges in my closet excuse me zara uh can y'all make a curve a zara curve because um not everybody's straight up and down i used to be <laughs> don't get this twisted i used to be but i'm not anymore can y'all make a zara curve because for the, for the curvy girls because <laughs> just a little hourglass now and it's not getting what it's supposed to give so i can't wear that so i'm gonna wear a little shane justin one piece number that i've had for a while with my um dolce dolce shoes red shoes that i wore last night and it's gonna give because i cut my bob and it's very much like this chinese by giving so that's what we're gonna wear i just tried it on it's cute it looks cute it's giving so that's what we're gonna wear tonight because what i intentionally wanted to wear it's not giving but we about to be backstage anyway so i was thinking maybe you're a little too casual for backstage baby you need to be turning heads when you're walking backstage that's gonna turn heads so we good everything just working out how it's supposed to work out y'all so i ain't even tripping I ain't even tripping. So we about to wash this face and get this face beat. Also, if any of you watch me and y'all have noticed the shape of my nose has changed, it's because I massage my nose when I give, when I do my, when I wash my face. So for any of you rhino girls out there that have had a nose job, you want to give your face a lymphatic drainage massage and you want to do it for your nose as well. So I don't know if y'all noticed that my face looks more thinner, slimmer, V-shaped, but it's because I massage my face every day when I'm washing my face. So you definitely want to like rub the sides of your nose and it will like really like decrease any inflammation and then push any fluid lymph fluid push it out and then down into your lymph nodes and just rub it like that i know like a lot of face people will tell you to rub your face upwards you can do that as well but i don't know gravity's going that way and then you're going that way it's giving very much you're going to give yourself wrinkles so just go with the flow literally so i rub up and down and then out and I just push down so you're giving yourself a nice little massage you want to use light pressure but enough to like move any light Bitch, I heard a noise. Okay, somebody was about to get got. You hear me? I ain't have nothing but a rat tail comb, but it'll get, it, it, it'll get the job done. Alrighty. We are 
ready to go. Sister girl. Sister girl, we ready to go. God, these would look so much better if it was like this. You know what I'm saying? Like this instead of this. This is, I mean, whatever, it's giving, whatever, it's, whatever. Okay, I'm going to do something totally different, but whatever. One thing about getting surgery, baby, you don't always get what you pay for. Am I happy with my tickle bitties? Yes, I am. I'm happy with them. People love them. They're soft. They feel really natural and, you know, I still have filling in my nipples. But, you know, I, I really wanted them to be standing at attention. Like, kiss me, Joseph. Should I put on red lips, y'all, or should I do nude lips? Cause I'm having on I'm having on red shoes, and I'm going to have on a red jumpsuit. So should I put on red lips? You know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh oh, ouch! Ouch! God, that hurt. Did I spray my face? I did not. So I'm gonna, well, I need a little bit more than it. Okay. So I'm gonna put um, the video that I did my makeup in like, well, yeah. So I basically did my makeup the same way I did it in my last vlog. Just in case you guys were wondering whatever products I used, I used the same exact products and I did my makeup the same way. I love this technique because it uses less makeup. Like I only actually put foundation down here and whatever I had left over, I blended it on my chest and my neck and a little bit on my forehead. The, the only thing that's right here is concealer and the only thing that's right here is bronzer. So I don't actually put foundation on my whole face anymore. And I love this technique because I use so much less makeup and my skin just looks so much better. Okay, so I found my Lime Crime Red Velvet. I'm gonna line my lips with a really dark brown underneath. This is gonna dry matte. I, I love the Giorgio Armani Lip Gloss. Um, well, it's a, it's a satin, liquid lipstick so it doesn't dry down matte so yesterday when I was like walking around and the wind was blowing and it was getting caught in my lips when I would move my face from my lips I had like a little streak of red on my on, on my face and my makeup we don't want that so we're gonna do a matte red today and y'all know that I love to use this milk liner in the shade I don't know what shade this is I don't know but it's like a dark brown and it's metallic so we don't want this to be really really red See how red it is? It's really red. So we're gonna tone it down a little bit. But we're gonna do a couple of coats first. Now we can get some product and 
blend it out for it. Because when this dries, we don't want it to move. looks good okay you guys so this is the fit and like i said i'm putting on my dg sandals with this so we're all red by tonight and this is the back hair is laid can y'all tell how much weight i lost i lost all the happy weight when carolyn was here it's gone okay so what scent should I wear tonight? What are we feeling like? Are we feeling like a little um, Joe Malone, perhaps? Maybe I cut the shit out of that bob real quick, didn't I? Real quick. How Olivia Pope this motherfucking bob, didn't you? I got it handled. Sis. Okay. So it's going to be between one of these two. So you guys know that I love this one. This is by Joe Malone. This is Vita Bray and Golden Vanilla. But then I also really love this one. This is a men's fragrance. This is by Valentino. So it's really just about the vibe that I want to give. I like to mix this one too. So I might, I might mix tonight. I've mixed these two and and I I've really loved it. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna mix. So I'm only gonna spray the Valentino on my wrist and I'm gonna put the vetiver everywhere else. Oh damn, I, I ain't mean to spray it on my damn chest shit <sighs> bitch I smell good alright you guys so this is the fit this is what we wearing Zara didn't pull it through for me so you know I had to I had to come Come with the Shane Justin, you know what I'm saying? Cause Zara didn't push through, so. We're a mess, Lord have mercy. Okay, and I got these earrings from the Fashion Plug. They sent these to me. Really, really cute. They also sent me another kind too. That I wore yesterday, and these are them. So I wore these yesterday. Hold on, get them together. Those are cute. Um, could have put these on actually. But because these actually are kind of hurting a little bit. I'm gonna leave them on. Okay, my Uber is three minutes away. I don't have anything to smoke on. I can't smoke in there anyway, but I'm just saying, like, I guess I'll smoke when I get back. With a hundred dog and they don't bark, they bite. Better spark, they bite. Gotta walk straight, right? Turn the dog to daylight. But they got my whole summer. It's gonna be a cold summer. Why? Can't hold, can't happy. Happy hold, can't hate it.
That's not the song I was looking for. What you looking for, boo? That's not the song. You know what? Maybe, maybe they can help me with this one, Fab. Downstairs 
into the lobby and take some pictures. And hopefully my camera doesn't die. Because I don't have a lot of time. So, un momento. Somebody been, you know what, I'm gonna roll me one. I'm gonna roll me one. Cause somebody been smoking and I ain't smoking a while. I want to smoke. Too sexy for this sir, too sexy for your girl, too sexy for this world, too sexy for this eye, too sexy for this chain, too sexy for your game, too sexy for this fame.